What's up, Tech Heart? Today's gonna to be a really cool one. I wanna chat with you guys about hard drives. I was looking to get a new NAS system set up and I needed big hard drives, 18 terabytes to be exact, and they're pretty expensive new. So, one of my friends told me about Server Part Deals. Uh, it's an online company that sells recertified hard drives uh, from all the big name brands. I went with Seagate Exos um, Enterprise Drives, and I got five 18 terabyte drives. So what this video is going to be is we're gonna open the drives, we're gonna look at them, uh, I'm gonna throw them in a server, and I'm actually going to run a complete bad blocks test and a long smart uh, test on each drive. And you'll get the uh, results afterwards. Is server parts deals? a good place to order your hard drives from and use them in your NAS that's important and you love in all of your data? Let's find out. All right, let me grab my screwdriver and we'll get to opening our package. I guess I needed one of those uh, fancy knives like all the other cool YouTubers. Not me. Okay. Uh, so here we go. The box looks pretty good. Um, there's the packaging. And I'm gonna show you exactly how all the drives were packaged in this bad boy. So we have a bubble wrap all the way around and there's another interior box, it looks like. Okay, let's get that away. I'll look at my receipt and tell you guys that I had five drives and the price for 18 terabytes was $169.99 per drive. The total came out to $848.45. I ordered these drives last Saturday and it is Wednesday. So I had these drives in four days and they came across the country. Let's see how UPS did. This doesn't feel like five drives. It's, it's almost light to me. I saw another YouTuber say he thought it was very heavy. It's just lightning. Let's get in here. Ooh, we're gonna make it happen. Hold on. Okay. This box is packaged much better. Uh, I really want to show this, and I hope I'm gonna get it on camera well. So there's this thick foam on top, and each drive. Let me try to get this out of here and show you even better. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to break this because I want to reuse this for when I mail drives. Yeah, uh, see. I want to have a look. I don't want to drop these puppies. This is great. Um, so these guys are professionals at the packaging. Uh, you can see on either side it has this large foam, and the drives are all right there. I mean, that's really good. Okay, let me move these boxes away. Ooh. probably do that yeah their packaging is I mean I don't buy hard drives all the time but it's like bar none it's really really well packaged um, each drive even though they are recertified is in static uh, you know casings and I'm very very impressed with the packaging so yeah just let me get all these out two three four and five drives. Let's open at least one of the drives to verify that they're 18 terabytes, and uh, we'll go from there. Get my handy dandy scissors. Make a nice little cut. So in my hand, I have an 18 terabyte Seagate Exos Enterprise Drive. Uh, there's not much to see. I mean, you've seen one hard drive, you've seen them all. So as stated, I'm gonna get all these into a server. Uh, first, I'm gonna run a bad blocks test on all the drives, that'll probably take about a day. And uh, then I'm gonna load them up in TrueNAS where these will be living. And I'm going to run a complete long smart test. So I'll come back with those results. I'm gonna get these puppies all installed. And uh, let's find out if server part deals 
is a good way to go for your hard drives for cheaper than new. All right, let's take a look at our testing. So first up, we have our bad blocks testing. And we could go over all of this, but basically all four of the 18 terabyte hard drives that I tested came back with zero bad blocks. That's good. Moving right along, we ran a full smart long test on each and every one of the drives. Here's a summary. Lifetime hard drive hours are 53 hours. Overall health, the drive passed the smart self-assessment. No reallocated sectors, pending sectors, or uncorrectable errors. Temps are within normal operating range and only 54 hours of operation indicating it's relatively new. Smart attributes indicate the drive is in good health with no critical issues. The detailed attributes don't show any signs of imminent failure. The next steps would involve monitoring the drive over time to ensure these values remain stable. So this is a summary comparison of all four of the drives. Uh, you can see the different serial numbers and model numbers. Capacity is 18 terabits in all drives, 7,200 RPMs. All of them passed the smart long test. Uh, look at the lifetime hours, 53, 52, 53, and 52. There's no reallocated sectors. Read error rates and your seek error rates. The temperatures are all good at 36 or 37 Celsius. All four drives completed the self-test, extended and short, without errors. This summary says that all four drives have passed the SMART test. They have been used before, but are still relatively new in terms of wear and tear. All drives show zero reallocated sectors, no bad sectors. There are no significant error rates reported in terms of read, seek, or command timeouts, which is a positive indicator of drive health, baby. All drives are within normal temperatures. All drives have comparable amounts of data written and read, showing consistent usage across the drives. What's our conclusion? These recertified drives appear to be in good health, with consistent and expected performance metrics across the board. The initial usage hours are low, and there are no signs of physical wear or smart-related issues. This suggests that purchasing recertified drives can be a viable option, offering significant savings while maintaining reliability. Regular monitoring and periodic smart tests should continue to ensure they maintain operational integrity. Okay, friends, family, foes, and everybody in between, what do we think about server part deals recertified hard drives? Well, as of today, July 2024, a brand new Seagate Exos X20 18 terabyte hard drive costs $315. So going with server part deals, uh, we found them today for $169. That's over a 45% savings. And the drives that we received test very well. They look healthy. They operate perfectly 
perfectly. I've copied around 25 terabits of data to them and the data is performing perfectly. I think server part deals is a super viable way to get your hard drives in 2024. I sent them an email and they responded immediately. I will be buying my hard drives from server part deals in the future and I think you should too. Go get some hard drives, serverpartdeals.com, baby! So that's the report from TechHeart, and I'm sticking with it. I'll catch y'all on the next one. TechHeart, out.